Hi, I'm Candice and I love hot cross buns. So this Easter, I've come up with some fab hot cross buns just for the kids and I've named them Top Cross Buns. They're designed on some of the coolest kids TV characters on Now TV. So the first recipe I'm going to show you today are my SpongeBob SquarePants buns. And I've named these Bunder the Sea. Now we all know that SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea. So the main ingredient in these beautiful buns is pineapple. So the first thing I need to do is need to make my dough. In this bowl, I have got white bread flour and butter. And all I'm gonna do is rub this together to make it almost like a breadcrumb consistency. Once I've done that, okay, I'm gonna make a well in the middle. In that, I'm going to add in the zest of one lemon to give it that lovely lemon flavor. Now on one side of my well, I'm gonna add in cast sugar and salt. In my bowl here, I've got yeast, warm milk and yellow food coloring. Makes it look a little bit like SpongeBob. Into the well that goes, along with one egg. So now our dough's ready, I need to leave it to rise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shape it into a lovely smooth round ball. I'm then gonna pop it into a greased bowl. Cover it with cling film, and then I'm just gonna put it somewhere warm, maybe the tumble dryer, for about two hours until it's at least doubled in size. So now our dough is lovely and risen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock it back ever so slightly to take the air out of it, and then turn it out onto a clean surface. I'm gonna stretch my dough out. Onto my dough, I'm gonna add dried blueberries and dried pineapple. Scatter those over. So from scattering over my blueberries and pineapple, I'm gonna knead it for about 30 seconds until they're distributed evenly throughout. Once you've done that, you need to divide the dough into eight individual pieces, and then from there, you need to shape your dough into that traditional hot cross bun shape. Pinch and spin the dough so you get a nice smooth top and then pop onto a greased and lined baking tray. So our buns have had their second proof. I'm now going to egg wash all of the buns and I'm now going to pipe on the traditional cross. In my piping bag, I have got plain flour, a little bit of water, and some blue food coloring. So my buns have come out of the oven, and while they're still warm, they were given a sugar glaze to make them nice and shiny. Then what I'm gonna do is give each one a little slit in the top, because I'm gonna finish with a slice of dried pineapple and a little pink starfish for his best friend, Patrick. And there we have my SpongeBob SquarePants Bunder the Sea Top Cross Buns. Now, I don't know about you, but I think they'd look all right on the menu at the Krusty Krab. Here's how to make my Scooby-Doo inspired mystery buns. So for my mystery buns, all you need to do is follow the same recipe as before, but you take out the lemon zest and you add in some ground ginger instead. After knocking back my dough, sprinkle over some chocolate chips and some fudge pieces. And as before, knead, cut into eight, and roll into balls. So my mystery buns have now risen. As before, they've been egg washed, and I'm just going to pipe on my cross, and then pop them in the oven. So my buns have come out of the oven, and as before, I've just given them a lovely sugar glaze. But because these are mystery buns, I'm gonna add a secret hidden middle a gorgeous caramel centre. And to finish off each bun, for that real wow factor, I'm gonna to top each one with a chocolate biscuit bone. And there we have my mystery buns. Chocolate and fudge with a hidden caramel centre and chocolate biscuit bones. So there we go guys, I really want you to have a go at making these at home. If you follow the link on the screen now, you'll find all of the recipes, including two others. My amazing ninja bun, which has been inspired by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and their favourite food, pizza. And then we have my Hot X Bun, which is dedicated to the amazing Powerpuff Girls. Cinnamon, strawberry laces and pink icing, what's not to love?